Hey everybody, it's Mindy and welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is my whipping chat for the week. And as you can tell, I am working on my cute little Hufflepuff guy here. And he is cute. <laughs> I'll give him that. He's cute. <laughs> you know my story. If you've been around for the last couple weeks, you know the story. This is not the best painting. Not the best canvas. Not good drills. This painting is more like work than fun, but I'm getting it done. I am well over halfway and I'm getting it done. It, uh, it, the drills aren't going to go anywhere because I picked up some Liquitex and I've Liquitex this whole part down here and, um, the drills might be popping up in areas, but they're not going to come off. That's all that matters. They're not going to come off. So it's going to look cute. <laughs> That's all I got. It's going to look cute. Okay. I have run out of black again. I got to this point here and I ran out of black. Uh, my friend Sue sent me some more. So I've got like this corner here that's still going to need black. So yeah, we're just uh, hoping that what she had was enough. If not, I'm going to be looking for more black square drills. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow, that's enough about this canvas. It is what it is and it will be done before you know it. And um, yeah, I'll just be done. <laughs> so anyhow, um, in case you don't know what is going on, this is for an event called Books in Diamonds. And I'm doing that with Urelli. Um, and it started out as a Harry Potter paint along and we kind of opened it up to any book themed painting that you could think of because Harry Potter was maybe a little too narrow and eliminated some people who really didn't care for Harry Potter. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, <laughs> maybe didn't want to do a Harry Potter painting. So we opened it up to just a book theme or a painting that reminds you of a book, or it's about books, or, you know, something to do with books. So there's that. Uh, you guys have been doing awesome. I mean, there's been a lot of people participating, posting pictures either on Instagram with the hashtag books and diamonds, or post posting their pictures in um, our Facebook group. Me and Maritza have a Facebook group, uh, Diamond Moments and Crafts with a K <laughs> and uh, a lot of pictures have been popping up there as well. So it's fun to see what people are working on, see your progress. Um, a few people have actually like shown a book that they think goes with their painting, shown a picture of the book with their painting, things like that. I really like that. That's cool when you guys do that, or at least talk about the book that um, your painting reminds you of. I like that. So yeah, this is week three. We're halfway through and um, we're alternating weeks for some small prizes. I gave out a prize last week and um, my winner has contacted me. So I will be getting that prize out to her this week. We had Martin Luther King Day yesterday, so that was a non-male day, but um, I am going to work one day this week. Oh my gosh, I know. I'm going to work one day this week. I have been asked to sub <clears throat> for the teacher at my building I was at um, just one day, Wednesday. So I'm going to sub on Wednesday. So I'm trying to get a lot of things done today, which is Tuesday. Um, because tomorrow, I think, I think it's just the morning I'll be, you know, in class. I have to go figure out how to get back in and all that stuff again. I mean, it's been a while and I got to make sure I can get into the classroom and do the lessons and all that kind of stuff. So that's on the agenda for today. So, yeah, but yeah, we're having a good time with this. Um, it is, this will be my video for you to comment on for a prize, which I will pull that winner next week. Okay. Next week will be my turn to pull a winner and it will be pulled from this video. So this is the one for you to comment on. Yeah, comment away guys, comment away. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so Yureli gave away a prize last week. She did her drawing last week. Um, I don't know if she's given it out yet. Um, I haven't heard. Her and I haven't chatted a whole lot this week. But um, anyhow, it's my week. And then the last one will be hers. And then we're going to do a final grand prize. Yes, a final grand prize. And we are working on that prize. We've been talking about that one off and on. Um, and I've, I, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you, okay? I haven't said anything about it yet, but it's going to be a painting. It's going to come straight to you from Diamond Art Club. It is a Diamond Art Club painting we're going to send to you. And it has some other goodies that are going to go with it. Books and diamonds. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, maybe next week I'm going to talk with Yureli and see what she thinks about just t telling you, showing you, giving you all the details on the grand prize. And maybe next week we'll be able to show that to you. And we are going to get together and we're going to give away that grand prize together. I'm still, you know, telling Yureli we should do it live come on my channel or something and we'll do it live, do a live giveaway. Um, I'm hoping that that happens. I think that will happen, <laughs> but I'm going to get that all nailed down this week. Um, ironed out with Yureli and let you know, um, all of the for sure's, all of the details for the grand prize. Okay. Anyhow, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I love doing events with people, getting the community involved, getting people involved in something. It gives you like a goal, something to work on. You know, ooh, what do I have for this? What can I do for this event? What painting do I have? And, you know, it gives you some incentive, some motivation to get something out maybe that you hadn't really thought of doing yet. Or it's been sitting in your stash for a little while and you're like, oh, that would be perfect for that. Grab it, get it out, start working on it. Yeah, okay. I mean, I have one in my stash right now that I'm going to pull out for February. Um, and I'm going to work on that one. And that's going to be a lot of fun working with Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter in February. On an event that she has dubbed Palantine. So it's friends, pals. And P-A-L, coincidentally, is paint along, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we're all set for that one, I think. Except for, you know, we got to talk about prizes and things like that yet. But that's coming up. So, I did post, um, I posted one, like, schedule for my yearly events. And then I've had a couple additions, and I think I posted that one too, but I'll be posting it again. I posted it on my community page, and I'll post it on Instagram, my events that I'm working on. And um, I'm getting booked up for the year. I know that. I'm getting things, you know, yeah, a lot of things going on, lots and lots of things going on. But the next one you need to know about is um, the event with Jenny. Palantine, something to do with friends, friendship. Your painting has friends, reminds you of friends. A friend gave it to you. You're working on it for a friend. Something that has to do with friends, okay? I think that's pretty wide open. Um, her and I are both working on a Bella Safina painting. I'll tell you that. Jenny has wanted to get a Bella Safina, and she was able to. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy, so much for making that happen. And um, we're both going to work on one of those. I have done one Bella Safina. It's not quite finished. I have uh, like less than two squares to go, and it's finished. I try to work on it for like 15 minutes a day. But that doesn't happen every day. And now that my son is living in my basement, that's where my painting is, is in my basement. So it makes things just a little bit more challenging to get down there and not try to be all intrusive into his world and his business. But, you know, my painting is downstairs. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can finish that up. I would love to finish that up in January. Can I do it? I don't know. If I only work on it 15 minutes a day, probably not. 
Probably need to put a little more time into it than that, but anyhow. Um, so there's that. Uh, the next event after that is a big one, and that will be the Chuck Along. Chuck Along 3, and I know so many people, they, they post all the time, I got a Chuck. I'm ready for the Chuck Along. I got a Chuck. I'm ready. I'm like, awesome. Yay. So let's blow this thing up, you guys. I want to have this just be like our most popular event yet. So yeah, let's get those Chucks out and let's get ready to roll on that. I've got mine ready. I, you know, like I've said mu multiple times, it's inspiration of Spring Meadows unless Brookside Retreat comes out. <laughs> but anyhow, I don't know. I really don't know. So there's that. Um, so that's events. That's what's going on. Um, please, if you are a reader, consider joining Ruby Q and I. We are going to be doing live book discussion, read-along, chat kind of thing on Tuesday evenings. Um, you'll see this on Wednesday, so it will be too late for the first one, but it's not too late for you to get in on it. We are reading The Restaurant. Um, what's the lady's first name? I can't remember. Something Kelly. Her last name's Kelly. Sorry, the first name is escaping me right now. But um, yeah, if you would like to join along, that is a really good book. I have read the first few chapters already and getting to meet the characters. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's just going to be fun. Something different. Um, yeah, we're so excited about it. Having a good time with it. It's going to be great. We're giving away a prize even. It's just going to be a ton of fun. Okay, tons and tons of fun. And maybe it's something that um, continues. I would, I've said I wanted to add book type stuff on my channel. And I'm starting to do that, I guess. In a small little way, but starting. Starting to dabble in it. So yeah, there's that. Fun, fun, fun. So I have another thing I'm working on. <laughs> And this is going to be uh, a surprise until you see it, but it's very different, very different for me. Um, I picked it up, the idea of doing something like this from BookTube, honestly, is where I got the idea. But some BookTubers do this quite frequently, and I'm tweaking it to what I do. And I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to do it, put it out there, and see what you guys think about it. So stay tuned for something a little unique and um, different <laughs> coming from me. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. It should be interesting. Um, it's more work for me, which is weird. It's hard to say. I, it's really hard to believe that it's more work because of the nature of what I'm doing. But... You know, it is. <laughs> uh, anyhow, it. I just started it today. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we shall see how it goes. Anyhow, um, yeah. So, how is life going for you? I hope everything's going well. Um, like I said, I'm going to teach on Wednesday. Oh, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm not doing it very often. I, I just don't want to do it very often. I do get asked to sub quite often, but the things I'm being asked to sub for are like totally not in my wheelhouse and something I would not be comfortable with. I've been asked many times to sub in like sixth grade and math. I'm like, Ugh. no and double no. Sixth grade, absolutely not. Math, no way. I mean, no, that is totally not in my comfort zone. And no, I even got asked to sub in high school one time. And I was like, what in the world would I do in high school? And why? First of all, I thought, why does a high school teacher need a sub? I thought the high schools just basically put some plans online and some lessons. And it wasn't like it was long term or anything. It was like a day. So I was a little confused by that one, and I'm certainly not going to teach in high school. I'm not even certified to teach in high school, but when you sub, 
subbing doesn't matter. You can sub anywhere, but I'm not, no, not doing it. <laughs> so there's that. I will be subbing tomorrow. And that is for the teacher at my building that I taught at, a teacher I know. I've already been able to look at her plans. I just have to remember how to get in on the computer and things like that to access it. So after I'm done doing some filming today, that will be the next thing I tackle. I'm going to have to probably text somebody, email, I don't know, one of the teachers, maybe the person who helped me last time. I don't know. So that's on the agenda. Um, so having the long weekend, um, both boys were here, my husband, my son, they were both home. I didn't get much done. I didn't even get much diamond painting done. I don't think I have, well, I hadn't touched this painting since my live. I didn't touch it on Sunday at all. And Monday, I did a little bit of the black over here, and I didn't get to do any of that until like late Monday night, and I was talking on the phone to people. So, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot done on it. Um, a lot of errands, <laughs> a lot of running around, getting groceries, getting chicken feed, uh, you know, just things like that. And... I realized it's really hard to film with my son here. I just have to be like, okay, I need quiet. Can you just be quiet? Because he's usually downstairs playing video games, which I can hear. So that has eased up a bit because he got a job. Yep. So his boss, his last boss that he had, it was, it's this construct, construct, not construction, construction type job, okay? He's supposed to, he was supposed to do roofs, put roofs on, but they weren't doing a lot of roofing. They were doing all kinds of other things. And there were some conflicts with people that he worked with and then the girlfriend thing and moving to Detroit. And so that job just, you know, he quit that job, moved down to Detroit and that was the end of that. Well, going back to get some things from the previous house he lived at, that's where his boss lives, and um, they were chit-chatting about it and things like that. Ended up selling his boss, Dale did, sold the boss his trailer. We had a trailer, like a flatbed snowmobile trailer. Ended up selling it to his boss, okay? So they're just sitting around, chatting that night about this and that and the other thing and um comes up with this you know oh that's a sweet trailer where'd you get it i've been looking for one like that and dale's like well it's for sale <laughs> sold it to him okay so then he comes over on uh, saturday yep it was saturday he comes over on saturday to pick the trailer up and um brought josh Part of the bed frame from the house that was left there and they started chatting a little bit chatting about the job and josh was telling him what the issue was first thing was you know the girlfriend and moving to detroit and trying to find a job there that was a big thing and some of the other issues he had with some people that were working there and his boss was like well listen you know first of all you don't have to worry about this one dude because he's gone he's not there anymore he said, if you want a job, if you want to come work, he said, you know, you, you can always come work with me. You can always come back and work with me. So Josh was like, okay, well, cool, cool. Um, yeah, Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Okay, cool. So Josh was back at his previous employer, which is not the one that he lost the job due to COVID. That was, you know, that was a whole different thing. And He'll never have that one back, but this is, this is okay. You know, it's okay for now. I don't know that it's the best job in the world, but it's a job and it's money. And, um, he can continue to look around and see if he wants to find something else. You know what I mean? But it is money and he's had to do some car repairs and things like that, which luckily Dale being the car guru that he is, 
was able to do part of it. Um, and so, you know, now Josh kind of owes us a little bit of money for parts and stuff. But yeah, but he's got a job. And today, being Tuesday, oh, Tuesday, guess what? Everybody's gone. <laughs> they went to work. <laughs> Both of the boys are at work and it's just me and the dog. So I can record all day long. I can do whatever I want. I can tear the place up. I can spread my stuff all over the place and I have to worry about anybody. <laughs> Not that I don't love them. I do. I, I do. And I like having them around. But sometimes filming is just super difficult with extra bodies around the house. So... I'm taking advantage of it. I think that's all the Z's. I think I got them. I'm taking advantage of it today. Totally taking advantage of today to get some stuff done. So there you have that. But yay. Uh, we have a job. We have a job. Yay. Have a job. So that will be helpful. Really helpful. I'm excited for him that he's working again. He'll have money coming in. He'll be able to feel like he's accomplishing, you know, something. So cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, it, it's kind of funny. He's really, he's enjoying living here with us as far as the food aspect goes. <laughs> you know, Dale and I, we just, we don't eat out much. Um, you can't really eat out around here because the restaurants are all closed. But until the 31st of January, that's the word, 31st of January, we'll, we'll see. But we never really ate out much anyhow. We might grab like some Subway or look, I got a hair in my painting. Seriously. We might eat some Subway or uh, Taco Bell or some fast food restaurant if we're out, you know, as I call it, running around doing our errands and whatnot. But for the most part, I mean, we cook at home. We cook and Josh is just like he's lapping it up he's like oh are you guys making dinner tonight or or do I need to run to Taco Bell and we're like no we're making dinner we make dinner every night and so he'll just be like he doesn't care whatever it is whatever's on the menu he's just like okay cool like last night uh Dale grilled hamburgers yes we're one of those people we grill all year long <laughs> all year long out on the uh, deck. So, um, we grilled hamburgers, four of them, because that's how many come in this package. And, um, Josh came up from the basement. You are too big to belong here. You are just a drill that's too large. There's that, you know, there's that. <laughs> um, so he came up and we had our burgers and some chips and what other stuff we had, you know, and Josh was like, uh, there's, there's an extra one here. Has anybody eaten the other one? And I'm like, no, we kind of made it for you. Do you want it? And he's like, yeah, I'll smash it. I'm hungry. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he's really enjoying the food part. You know, he goes, man, you guys are just feeding me really good. All right. <laughs> yep. We will feed you. You know, it's not a big thing. Like make spaghetti one night. It's not a big thing to make sure you've just got extra spaghetti. We always have leftover anyhow when we make a batch of spaghetti. So it's just not a big deal. Just throw on an extra burger, you know, whatever we're having, you know. But Josh is loving it. He's just like, wow, I don't have to spend money on food. I don't have to run out. I can just hang out here and you guys are feeding me good. Yep. We, we, we feed you up. We feed you well. <laughs> so there's that. But... It's interesting just having that extra body here, you know. Um, Dale did not go to work yesterday, but that was Josh's first day to go to work. And wasn't sure, you know, is he going to wake up? How's this work? But he was up, man. He was up early and uh, he was ready to go. Today, Dale got up before Josh did. And Josh was still asleep and he was going out to do the chickens and things like that before he went to work. And Josh was still downstairs sleeping and he walked out that way and he's like, hey, are you awake? It's like seven o'clock. Josh has got to be to work at eight, right? And Josh was like, uh, uh, 
you know. <laughs> so they'll kind of woke him up. I don't know. He may have had his alarm set for just a little later, you know, but it only takes him about 15 minutes to get to where his job is. So anyhow, kind of interesting. And the two of them, I mean, it's interesting. They just, Dale will go downstairs and just sit and talk with him sometimes, you know, and chit chat and, you know, the other night he went to Walmart and got him some like uh, thermals, long legged underwear kind of stuff, you know, because <laughs> he's going to be working outside. And so he said, you have any of this stuff to keep you warm? And Josh was like, no, I was just going to like layer like maybe some sweatpants over this. And I don't know. So Dale went and got him some thermal underwear, long legged underwear and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just. It's nice. It's nice that they get along. It's nice that, you know, Dale does things, helps him out. Um, you know, Dale is, Dale is a good father, you know. And one day Josh got a little emotional about the whole thing. And he's like, this is just, this is early on, early when he first moved in. He got a little emotional about all of it. And he's like, I just... I know I just came in and just kind of said, I'm here. And he didn't have any choice but to say, okay. But um, he said, I had to talk with Dale because I knew that Dale would be the one that might have more of an issue with it than you. But it's all cool. And he was cool with it. And he just got emotional about the whole thing. And I said, I know he's a good guy. And he goes, I know he is. He's better to me than my dad is. My dad doesn't even call me. I don't know anything about my dad, where he's at or what he's doing. But Dale's always there. And I'm like, I, I know Dale is a good guy. That's all I got. He's a good guy. You know, he's a guy and they all have their moments. I think <laughs> if you, if you know any men, if you have any men in your life, they have their moments. I think it's a male thing, but you know, he's a good guy. Yeah. And, um, he's honestly, honestly been, more of a father to my children than their father. You know, they don't talk to their dad. I don't even know if anybody knows where he lives or hear from him or anything. I certainly don't, but, you know, I don't think they do either. But, you know, we've got Dale. Thank you for Dale. That's all I got. He's a great guy. So, that was my little story. Um, yeah. Um... I don't know if I have anything else much to talk about at this point. I don't think I do. You know, I'll get off here. I'll stop recording and I'll think of a million things that I wanted to say. Right? A million things to say. But anyhow, I am going to show you the prize I'm giving away. I'm going to put that at the end of this clip. I'll show you the prize for uh, next week when I do the drawing. Remember, you comment on this video to be entered for the prize I'm about to show you. Last week, I did it kind of backwards. I didn't have the prize, so I showed you the prize as I was giving it away, but I really like to show you the prize before I give it away. It kind of makes it a little more exciting. You know what you're going to get, and then if you don't really want it, you know, don't comment, right? That's how that works. If you don't want what I'm going to give away, then just don't comment. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's okay. You know, I never win anything. So, and I don't enter a whole lot of things because I mean, really, I don't need stuff. Yeah, it's fun to win something once in a while, but I don't enter often and I don't win. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah. So I'm going to go now. I don't like you. You're too fat at the bottom. You know, they get like smushed. They get like a little flare at the bottom of them yep i mean if you got if you got a problem with a drill if you can think of any problem with a drill that makes a drill an icky drill it's in here in this painting somewhere okay like pretty much everything <laughs> every drill problem you can think about is in see that's another fatty one that flare at the bottom i don't want a flare at the bottom they're too big they don't fit okay I'm going to go. I'm going to show you the prize real quick. 
I thought I brought it in here with me. That would have been nice. I could have just shown you, but no, I'll have to go get it. So let me go get the prize and show you the prize. This is really a short whip and chat for me, but I really don't have much else to talk about right now. So let me get the prize and show you the prize. Okay. All right. So similar to last time, um, this is my prize again, a book and a bookmark. Okay, let me show you the bookmark first. Let me show you this one. This one's really pretty. I like this one. I'm not going to show you all the drills or anything. I'll just show you the picture on the bookmark. So it's a really pretty one. Look at it. Don't you like that? Isn't it pretty? Like these hearts and flowers and things, pinks and whatnot, pinks and purple colors, tassel. Really pretty. I like it. Look, look at those pretty pink hearts right there. Can you see those in pink? and pearls. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. So there's a bookmark. Okay. And then a book. Yes, yeah, a book. All right. I, I had a hard time not buying two. Last time I bought two, right? <laughs> but when we were getting groceries, I went by the book section. Our Meyer has books. So, you know, they have everything there. But this is one of my favorite authors. It is Susan Wiggs. I love Susan Wiggs. Um, and it's called The Lost and Found Bookshop. Yes. Okay. So I love her writing. I love her books. And this one sounds so interesting. Look at, oh my gosh, I just noticed that. That's a wiener dog. Okay. You know, I'm going to have to get this book. I'm going to have to just go back to Meyer and just get one for me. Okay. So it says, if you had to start over, what would you do? And who would you be? Huh? So there's a tragedy. Um, and this girl inherits the bookshop and she uh, becomes the caretaker for her grandfather and he struggles with memory loss. She wants to sell the building to pay for his care, but grandfather says, no, he refuses to sell it. Okay. Um, she takes over the shop. She hires this ex Marine, um, Peach Gallagher to help Peach's younger daughter, Dorothy is a bright light, during Natalie's long days and manages to connect Natalie with Trevor Dashwood, who's a novelist. Anyhow, um, interesting things happen. Uh, they unearth some artifacts in the bookshop's walls that uncover the truth about her family, her future, and her own heart. Wow. Okay. So I, like I've said, oh, there's some more titles of hers. Yes. I don't think I've read any of those. <laughs> Anyhow, um, love her books. So that's the prize. I'm going to have to go get one for me. You know, I am. There's that. And there's the bookmark. And that's the prize for next week. So if you would like to be entered to win the prize for next week, you know, well, you comment, you know, I like comments. But, so if you don't want to win the prize, I guess don't comment. I don't know, whatever, but it's up to you. So I guess that's all I have for this week and make sure you watch your rallies whip and chat tomorrow. And, um, your rally is giving away a prize tomorrow. No. Yeah. I think that's right. I don't know. I'm all confused now. <laughs> I'm all confused now. I gave mine away last week. Yeah. So she gives hers away this week. That's right. And then I give mine away next week. Yeah, that's right. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, you guys. And um, I'll be talking with you later. Have a great day.